Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to work with the view page and let me just open the terminal and run the band dev. Okay, now if I refresh, yeah, we are on the post. So I'm going to add a link here to view the post, single post. Because in the backend we have that. So let me open the backend. The API, we have the API resource, except the create and edit. For that, I'm going to create also a new page just to view the post. Uh, on the public function show on the post controller, I have made some changes. I passed the ID because we are going to accept the ID from the front end. When you make a get request to this URL, we are going to, we are going to send the ID from the front end. And then, based on that ID, I'm going to say post find or fail that ID and then return the new using the post resource to pass in that post. Okay. Now uh, let's add that link, but for to add that link, I'm going to use an uh, icon instead of a button. And I'm going to install the hair icons for view. So let's just copy this command or because I use ban, I'm going to say, let's open here a new tab and just say ban add hair icons slash view and then we can use like this import the icon and specify here the classes so let's do that let's open our uh, code editor and let's open the post index i'm going to zoom it here and let's scroll down where we have the edit and delete and in here, first let me just add a div with some classes. Yeah, flex space x4. And inside here, I'm going to add a router link. And for now, let's say like this. And here inside, I'm going to import first the i icon. So let me just say here import the i icon from Terracons view 16 solid or 24, let's say 24, like this, and then use that i icon in here. Okay. I icon add not text gray. I want to change that to say text blue or something else. At blue, let's leave it like this and see on the browser. Yeah, when we hover it on dark, okay, text blue on dark like this, but I want also on hover to say text blue. Uh, not 600, maybe 700 to be more visible. Okay, like this. Good. Now let's work with the link. First, I'm going to open the views, posts, and here we have post create. Let's duplicate this paste, the post uh, view. Like this, hit enter. Uh, I'm going to remove this. Also remove this one. And I'll remove everything here. Good. Let's open the router index. And also here we need to make some changes. So let's copy this, paste it down there. And now we need to bind the ID. So here is going to be a dynamic. For that, we have to use colon ID. And the name is going to be post view. The component is post view. We created, make sure you import that. I think I have imported. Yeah. Okay. Meta. And also we need to say props to be true. Because we need to catch that prop, for example, by the here when we click. First, let's go on the post index and add the link here so not like this but 
is going to be by name and pass in the params name not post edit but post view i think we are good let's click to this one we navigate post 39 now how we can detect here this id on the post view let's zoom it and first let's import not like this but import the use route from the view router and i will create a constant route able with use router then let's just console log this come here inspect the element go to console we have 39 go to this one we have 35 okay next i want based on this id to make a request on the backend and get that post so let's create a method i'm going to create a const a get post and here i'm going to say try and cuts const post route not like this but it's going to be const data distract the data from the axios instance dot get yeah get dashboard post and passing here the route params id or we can say just id and accept here an id like this i think we are okay then let's uh console log the data also let's cut if we have any error and uh i think we are okay yeah the id here is going to be type of a string okay so let's say what not what like this and i'm going to use the tab to complete and here we are to watch the route params id and call the get post passing by that id let's see now let's clean this if i click here we don't make any request also here we don't see anything because we are need to add here the immediate to be true and now we have undefined and let's go here let's make this an async and we are going to await for this and now refresh and we have a data okay now let's create a constant post which is going to be able with a ref from view and initially is going to be null now because we use typescript let's assign this post uh, post type and i think we have the post type in the post index so let me just scroll up and yeah here we have the type for post now instead of copy here and paste it right here i'm just going to cut from this one and go where we have types index let's zoom it just to see and i'm going to say down there export and pass in this type export the type and then on the post index we need to import that type so let's say import the type post from the types okay we are good here let's go on the post view now and also here i'm going to say post or null okay we don't see we don't have this post now so let's import that import the type post and i think we are okay with the post now instead of this i'm going to say post dot value to be able with data dot data because we use that post resource 
which return um, a wrapped data. And uh, yeah, let me just go on the pause here. I'm going to close this and open here the view dev tools. If I click on this one, 39, go to post view, we have the route and we have the post, which is an object with all the details. Good. Let's close this and now let's display here the title, for example, of the post. So let's say post dot title. Okay. And yeah, thank you. We added the question mark because post is type of post or null. Maybe null. So for that, we add the question mark. And let's display also on a paragraph or in this div the post body. And what we get other from this one, we have the post with body, the created ad. And I think we are okay. Let's add on only the created ad right here. Add the span and pass in here the created ad, but not like this. We have created ad like this. And yeah, created three hours ago. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. Now you can design this how you want, but just the idea is to show how you can work with uh, route params. And what's this route when this change? We are going to call the get post, passing the ID which is going to accept here. And we're going to make a get request the dashboard slash post, passing that ID, which will return the post based on that ID. And then we assign, and here we have the post. Let me just go back. So this is the title of this one. So let's see. The, this one here, 38, click which has the name, the title, Aspirator in. Let's click and we have the title here. Okay, friends, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best.